The use of drones has come a long way since they were first introduced. Fox 13 tech reporter Jordan Hogan looks into where drone design is going from here and what it will allow us to do in the future. Drones are used for a number of tasks these days, like search and rescue missions, package deliveries, surveillance, and photography. People also use them for drone racing, a hobby that's picked up popularity over the years by enthusiasts like Kevin Plazier. Drone racing's getting more popular. There's local Utah races that are held every year. Um, over the summer, they do them about once a month. He's also a safety pilot and electrical engineer at Aggie Air, a drone research department at Utah State University. In June, Plazier won an international drone design contest for his linchpin model drone with a $25,000 prize. The drone he made has 12 motors that are all at different angles, which is different from the standard drones you can buy in stores or online. All the motors are in different directions, um, which gives the drone the ability to hover in any orientation. So you can rotate it, hover it upside down, sideways, whichever way, and still have full control of the drone. The drone engineer and enthusiast thinks that as designs for drones evolve, they will be able to do more things, like get people from one place to another. But that also depends on how quickly battery technologies advance. A lot of drones that you buy, they'll give you maybe 30 minutes of flight time. And if you're trying to do an air taxi, you now have a lot more weight and a lot more mass you have to deal with. Plazier also thinks the way drones are regulated prevents them from making as much progress with how drones can be used. Drone delivery could be happening today if five years ago the FAA was allowing it and allowing these companies to pursue that goal. The hope is that the Federal Aviation Administration will work with drone makers to get faster at approving safe concepts so they can be put to good use. A lot of the tech for all of that's already there. We're just waiting on legal approval. In Salt Lake City, I'm Jordan Hogan reporting.